everybody, it's Connie here. I hope everyone is doing awesome. Um, the week is almost over and I'm so happy about it. Um, yeah, so anyways, I just wanted to come up here and do a TTC update. Um, as you can see, I am not in my normal shooting environment. Um, I am in the dining room slash living area and our kitchen is right here in the back. And um, the reason is, um, is because I really like natural light and where I normally shoot, it's in, my, it's in our room and it's the darkest room in our place and I just absolutely hate it. Um, so I just wanted to try a different environment. So that's where I'm at today. Um, so just to give you an update, I am on cycle day 24 today and normally my cycles are 29 days. And so based on that, I should be starting AF um, in about five or six days. So um, yeah, I'm kind of, I'm very, doubtful that I conceived this cycle um, just because I, I've i been so aware of my body and I guess the positive thing about TTC is that I've been getting to know my body a lot better and I've just been so educated through this whole process. Okay, so the other day I was in bed and I was um, talking to my husband and just kind of telling him this, you know, like, hey, you know, I don't think... I'm pregnant, you know, I don't think we conceived again. And so he just was like, you know what, maybe I should get tested. And and we actually remembered that um, a few months ago, like at a friend's party, it was like a potluck party, um, we met a fertility doctor there and John actually took down his phone number and and we called him and so John's thinking of getting himself checked. and. And so, because he's a friend of a friend, um, I think he's willing to kind of give us a discount on his fees and his pricing. So, yeah, I'm kind of excited about that. And so, and I thought to myself, you know what? I'm over 35, and what I, from what I've read, it says that women who are over 35, their ovarian reserve starts to go down a lot. Um, and so I was thinking to myself, you know, if John goes, I might as well just go with him. And so I've been doing a lot of research on ovarian reserve and how to test for it. Um, I know you have to be on like, it's called like a day three and they test your um, FSH, which is the follicle stimulating hormone. Um, so on day three of your period, I guess it's kind of gross. You're still bleeding, I guess, but they're able to check. I don't think it's a vaginal check. So I think they're just gonna draw my blood on that day to, to see the hormones. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Okay, for a second I thought it was going to be like some crazy bloody vaginal exam, TMI, sorry, but um, yeah, I don't think it's that. Um, so yeah, so from what I read, um, levels of 3 to 10 milli international units per milliliter, I think that's right, I think that's what it is. Um, between 3 and 10 is considered normal range and anything above 12 is considered, you know, like pretty bad, like you don't have a good ovarian reserve. And then there's a test called the clomiphene challenge test, which is a, an extra test to do for the FSH, um, just to double check or something like that. I don't know. I, I'm just, I'm just kind of going off memory of what I read. I've been reading a lot lately. And so, yeah, so if anyone out there has done um, ovarian reserve testing, um, could you let me know um, in the comments below and maybe tell me like what your score was um, and what your doctor suggested to you to um, improve the ovarian reserve, if that's possible. I don't know. This is my first time um, even thinking about getting this test done. So. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, I am almost nearing my the end of my two week wait. And so, yeah, I'm expecting AF to come <sighs> again. Oh well. So anyways, I will keep you updated and thank you so much for your support, ladies. And I hope those of you who are in your two week wait, I hope you guys end up with a big fat positive at the end of it. And I look forward to watching all your videos and following your journey. So thanks for following mine and I will catch you later. Bye.